Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do some short game here in Young Linzer, my home course, in the compact course. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna review this new club that I just got and they are the Tacomo Skyforger 001. I got three versions of them. I got the 56 with 12 degree of bounce. Then I have the 52 with 10 degree of bounce. And then I have my lob wedge, which is the 60 degree with 12 uh, degree of bounce again. So, first of all, the look of this club. So, I'm gonna give you, I try to give you a clean club here so you can admire how good looking are these clubs here. So, I think they are one of the best looking wedges on the market now. You have here the nice Tacomo forged S20G. You have the shaft, of course, which is a KBS tour on the wedge flex. Uh, of course, the Lamkin crossline grip uh, that you have in all the Tacomo uh, clubs. The only thing that is different regarding my club that I usually play, um, if you look at it from, from behind, you see that it, the edge is a little bit more round than what I'm used to, but I don't really mind. The opposite, it gives me a little bit more confidence because uh, when you are at the address, it looks like the club is a little bit more under the ball. So you're gonna maybe try to coming back a little bit less than what you're used to. I just played 18 holes and I played with them. So uh, I have a little feeling what's, what's good and what's maybe what I have to work on uh, to, to get a little bit more uh, feeling with them. But let's try together and hit some shots, uh, some, some different positions. So I prepared here, uh, first of all, the chip from the fringe. So easy chip, uh, flag at 12, 30 meters away. So you need a little bit of roll so I can take my uh, gap wedge, in this case, the 52. And then we're gonna try from the rough a little bit, uh, what, how does the club goes in the rough and how it does direct. Then we're gonna play some shots from the bunker. I'm gonna play uh, in the end some flop shots. And then of course, I'm gonna try to push a little bit forward back and see uh, how does it perform in distance control and uh, how does the spin work and uh, everything compared to my, to my game. Ready to go? Let's go. First situation, we have 12 meters to the flag. I'm gonna take my 50 degree because I want a little bit more roll than uh, uh, flight. So at the address, it does look really good. So it gives me some confidence. Let's see if it performs as well as it looks. That's a little long. With, uh, I came back perfectly. So we are one meter from the flag. Perfect. We can putt it. Let's try to hit a little better, to strike it better. That one has better distance control, so we are just one meter. Let's see, we can do three more. Ah, uh, that ball got just <laughs> spun away. That's because they just, uh, they made the aeration on the green, so the greens are a little bit sandy and uh, we have holes everywhere. That, but in that case, uh, I take it on the course and not on the club. Let's go fourth shot. That's a good shot. That's what I want to look. So I want to have a shot that flies a little bit and it rolls out and gives me one meter from the flag, which is perfect exactly what I'm looking for. Let's try the last one. That one again jumped on the sand on the green and uh, gone away but still one half meter uh, to, the, to the flag so 
holdable and uh, the feeling is uh, pretty good so now I cannot judge on the ball uh, because uh, as I told you the greens are very sandy so the spin and the ball doesn't grip very much on the on the on the green but uh, I feel the club pretty good they are soft they are uh, maybe I didn't hit five times the middle of the of the club and I still feel pretty good distance control was okay if I take the short one away the other are just in the one meter range and that's that's good that's a pretty a pretty good result let's move on so here we have another situation we are in the rough the rough here are not cut so they are very very tough and very high uh, we have the flag which is uphill and uh, like seven meter away so we need to have a little shot that goes a little bit higher and throws a little bit less I'm gonna take my 56 degree here with a 12 degree of bounce and let's see how does it work into the rough. First shot. Okay, we are five centimeters away from the hole. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see, it's just luck or the shot was very good. I think it's not luck. So the shot was very good again. So second shot next to the ball, to the first ball. Let's see with the third ball. That one was a bit lo lower, but still rolled to the, to the hole. We have a half meter from the, from, the, from the hole, which is good. I'll take it. Let's see if we can put some ball in deep stuff here. Let's see if we can come out. That one came out pretty good. So we have three ball all together. Let's see with the last ball. Maybe we can hold it. <laughs> and we hit the other balls. So this one I like it a little bit more than the 50 but just because I'm not really the cheaper with the 50 so I usually tend to go a little bit higher with the, with the, my lob wedge and uh, but it's maybe related to me and my personal like than uh, than the ball uh, flights that I had with the with the wedge but this wedge the 56 I really like it as you see here the result I'm gonna take the camera with me and show you the result so if we walk together here to the to the flag that's the result with five balls so we are really 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 close to the hole with four balls and one it's just one meter away from uh, from the hole which is pretty good now let's go to the beach and hit a couple of bunker shots with our lob wedge 60 degree and see how this one performs So we have like 15 meters from the flag, so I open a little bit the face, but not too much and try to go under the ball, and see if the bounce works good on the club. The shot was pretty good, a little short of the flag, but we have, uh, we have a chance over there. Clean a little bit the face, try again, open the face a little bit and try to go under and see if we can hit it better. Uh, that one was fat. We are just in the beginning of the green. Let's clean a little bit more club. Try to go a little bit less under the ball. Uh, that's much better shot. We are still one half meter from the flag. Let's try to do better. That as well, a little bit short. Let's try again. And that one is short, but on the green, so we'll take it. 
Okay, so I think these five bad shots are more because <laughs> of me than the club, of course. But yeah, I feel it very good. So it doesn't dig into the sand. Uh, it goes good. It works well, the bounce. It feels it very good. Um, I just think that if you open too much the club, then you have a little bit too, uh, too steep edges and then it goes a little, it digs a little bit more but if you open it just 45 degrees to 50 degrees 60 degree maximum uh, then it goes very well uh, on the sand and it takes the ball very high and then you have a lot of spin as you see all the balls stopped really quickly so i'm pretty happy with that let's go to flop shot after the bunker let's go forward with the lob wedge and see if we can do some uh, lob shots here. We are uh, one half meter to the bunker and uh, then let's say 20 to 25 meters to the flag. Let's see if we can do a nice flop shot here and land it next to the uh, to the flag. The purpose of this exercise is to see how does the bounce work with the club if it's very if it's good for me because I love the shot so I love hitting a lot of uh, lob shot and uh, yeah let's see how does it perform that's a pretty decent shot so very high it flowed very good had a lot of spin on it and it's uh, one meter from the flag perfect let's see if we can do it again That's a little shorter, but it had less spin. So it's almost the same result. Good. Now let's see if we can go a little bit more under it and give it a good amount of spin. Yeah, that one had a lot of spin, but it's too short. So I love how this club is performing. So I really love the lob wedge, the 60 degree and the 56. The 52, I have to find a little bit more uh, affinity with them, but I I love these two wedges here. So let's give it a go with the fourth shot here. Try to go closer. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, pretty happy with these shots. Uh, I think now it's the moment to go a little bit further away from the hole and see how does it perform with uh, some pitch shot as well uh, and not only chips. Let's go! So now we are a little further away. We are 50 yards away. I'm gonna play from the rough because here they put uh, a lot of sand and everything so it's gonna give me some difference in what I want to see. So I'm gonna play from the rough here, try to get where it's a little bit shorter and try to hit the flag. That's actually too long. That one was a good shot. There we hit the flag, so a pretty good shot. Let's try again. Let's go with the last one. Okay, so the feeling of the club is pretty good. I really like the feeling when the ball is picked up uh, with, the, with the face. So it's very soft and uh, it looks like very high quality clubs. Spin numbers, I think it's gonna be something around uh, eight to nine thousand spin because the ball stops quickly. And uh, yeah, really like the feeling. So now let's go to 100 yards and see what happens to through the max range of I have with the 56. Now we are 100 yards away from, uh, from the flag. I'm gonna hit again my 56 degrees. Should be more or less full shot because it's a lot of wind today. And let's see how does this wedge react 
with a full shot. Pretty good shot. I'm really happy with that. Felt very good. Easy shot. Let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, good shot as well. Let's do two more. That's very high, very good shot. I digged a little bit too much for what I like. The edge was pretty sharp, but let's do better. That short, okay, good. So we hit a couple good shots, couple of not so good, but I think that's more me than, uh, than the golf club. Uh, in the end, the feeling is pretty good. So I gonna hope to play a little bit more now in the next upcoming weeks with these clubs and uh, to have some chance to really give you an honest review after a couple of weeks of using them. And of course, uh, a video which is coming out is uh, playing a couple of holes just with my irons and my wedges. So you can see how this uh, Tacoma Golf irons and wedges are performing in a real life situation. So on the golf course, on a, on a couple of holes. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, follow me on Instagram. And uh, if you like this video, leave a thumb up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.